in one of the world's most inhospitable places lives one of its cutest predators, the fennec fox. These foxes have adapted so drastically for life in the desert that scientists are debating whether they can still be called foxes. This is the story of the cuddliest hunter in the Sahara. Hi, I'm Danielle Defoe, and you're watching Animal Logic. Fennec foxes are common across the Sahara Desert, where temperatures can reach 50 degrees Celsius, and at night can plunge well past freezing. To cope with extreme temperatures, they have some really clever adaptations. Their adorably huge ears are full of blood vessels. As blood travels through their ears, it gets cooled down before coming back to the fennec's core. This helps them keep cool even on the warmest days. Their beige-colored coat not only helps them blend in with their sandy environment, but their light coloring also deflects heat from the sun. At night, during the coldest months, their thick fur and bushy tails keep them warm. Their paws are also covered in fur to protect them from the scorching sand. They look like cute little mitts. <laughs> And while they may look cute, their call is anything but. <coughs> Fennec foxes are the smallest of all canids. They're even smaller than a chihuahua. And their size, too, is an adaptation for life in the desert. Having small bodies means that their surface-to-volume ratio is quite high. They have a lot of skin to radiate body heat. Large animals have much smaller ratios, so it's harder for them to keep cool. That's why, in general, you see larger animals in colder climates. Heat is not the only concern when living in the desert. Water is amazingly scarce, and in some areas, it almost never rains. Fennec foxes only ever find water when it rains or when they're near an oasis. On these occasions, they will drink water to their belly's content. But the rest of the time, they don't drink water at all. Their kidneys are super efficient, and they can absorb all the moisture they need from their prey, which are usually small mammals and insects. Their ears are extremely sensitive and can hear their prey scurrying on or under the sand from great distances. Fennec foxes have yet another surprising way of getting water. They're self-sustainable homes. These little foxes live in dens, which collect dew at night. These dens can be quite spacious and may collect large amounts of moisture during the colder months. But their homes are much more than dew collectors. They can be the sole refuge for up to 10 fennecs at a time. Fennec foxes are the most sociable fox in the world. In these harsh conditions, it's easier to get by with a little help from your friends. They mate for life and move their families into dens. In most cases, the female gives birth to a second litter while the first is still living at home. Each litter can produce up to four pups. To accommodate all their babies and adolescent pups, they build elaborate dens which can have several chambers and up to 15 entrances. In some cases, the dens may be connected to another family's den. These dens require densely packed sand which is the ideal terrain for fennec foxes. When only soft sand is available, the dens are much simpler, with only one entrance and a single chamber. These dens also protect them from predators, such as jackals, caracals, and the fearsome eagle owl. Humans are also a threat, as fennec foxes are hunted for the pet trade and to make keychains and car decorations out of their tails. All of these physical and behavioral differences have raised the question of whether or not fennecs are actually foxes. Other foxes are mostly solitary, while the fennecs live in large family groups. Fennecs are also unique among the genus Vulpes in that they lack musk glands. At a genetic level, fennecs have fewer chromosome pairs than other fox species. Regardless of their genus, Fennec foxes are actually doing well. They're considered a species of least concern. 
It's not too often that we get to say this, so way to go, little guys. <coughs> what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every other week. Thanks for watching.